How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Are slow and controlled or fast and explosive repetitions more effective at maximizing muscle gains? This question has been engulfed in a cloud of uncertainty with multiple health and fitness experts campaigning for their respective side. Now it is my turn to answer this question based on what science has shown. If you are interested to see where I pull my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, let's get started. Let's start by taking a closer look at research supporting slow repetitions. A 2012 article out of the Journal of Physiology looked at two different groups and compared their effect on muscle protein subfractional synthetic responses. Group A performed leg extension exercises with slow repetitions, and group B performed the same exercises with fast repetitions. Results showed that neither group stimulated an immediate rise in protein synthesis, but 24 to 30 hours post exercise, there was almost a three fold increase in protein synthesis from the individuals that performed slow repetitions. The group that performed faster repetitions saw only a one and a half fold increase. Follow-up studies have demonstrated that this trend is similar in middle-aged and older adults as well, and that slow repetitions with an emphasis on increasing muscle contraction time are going to do a better job at inducing muscle gains than faster repetitions. So does this mean that slow is the way to go? Or is there any merit in performing fast repetitions? Let's take a closer look. Research looking at fast repetitions have demonstrated significant strength improvements. A 2005 study looking at the biceps muscle showed that faster repetitions caused an 11% increase in strength compared to slower repetitions. And a similar study looking at back squat training demonstrated fast repetitions result in substantially greater increases in knee peak velocity and total body vertical and absolute power. These results are important for people like athletes who rely on explosive strength to deliver maximum performance. But for people who are just looking to make gains, time under tension and workout volume are going to trump speed every time. So back to the original question. Are slow or fast repetitions better at maximizing muscle gains? At the end of the day, maximizing muscle gains is going to come down to how much volume you can put into your workouts. And not only do you typically get more volume from slow repetitions, but you also do a better job at inducing protein synthesis. But that doesn't mean I think fast repetitions are useless. Try pairing a slow controlled lift with something explosive like a box jump to not only maximize strength, but also increase your workout volume, which in the end will lead to more muscle gains. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe. I release new videos every week. In any case, thank you all so much for watching and stay strong.